Two people in Bedford County behind bars accused of making drugs in front of a child. Police say it was a family member who called them after allegedly finding her grandchild inside a hazy trailer that smelled of chemicals and the child's father covered in burns. Maria Miller is following this story for us and has the details tonight. Maria? Yeah, Jen, we've covered several alleged meth labs in Bedford County the past few months, but tonight authorities tell us they don't believe they're happening more often. They think they're just getting better at tracking them down, thanks in part to the community and family members who seem to have had enough. I didn't know what was going on at first. I had no clue. It was like, oh my word. Kim Klein says she was at her Hopewell Bedford County home on Friday afternoon and watched as authorities surrounded the trailer next door. I seen just the cops coming in with their guns, aiming at the trailer and him coming out. He could barely stand or walk. It was terrible. She's talking about her neighbor, Eugene Sharp, who authorities say was covered in chemical burns after allegedly cooking meth in front of his three-year-old child. Police say it was the child's grandmother that gave them a call. She observed uh, a hazy smoke throughout the residence, a strong odor of a chemical, like a chemical smell. She took the child out of the residence. She observed that he had some burns and uh, then she contacted the police. Authorities say inside the trailer they found all the makings of a meth lab, including several over-the-counter drugs that Sharp and his girlfriend, Annabelle Van Buren, had allegedly been buying for months. You know, I had an idea that they were doing drugs, but I wasn't sure. But when they said they were doing meth, it was like, oh, my word, they're going to blow me up. On Monday, we found two different notices posted on the door. A warning from authorities of the chemicals that may still be inside, as well as an eviction notice from the couple's landlord. But authorities say they may not have to worry about moving out anytime soon. That's because they're both in jail. And the district attorney says authorities will continue to work hard and ensure that others involved in the same alleged drug activity join them. Everybody's working hard together to track these people down and bring them to justice. I'm not necessarily so sure that it's it's happening more. It's just that we're um, making people more aware of what to look for and we have better uh, intelligence and people working together as a team to bring them to justice. And we're going to continue to do that. Now we're told that the child that was inside that home was taken to the hospital as a precaution to be checked out, but he's doing just fine tonight. Both Sharp and Van Buren are in jail, each on $150,000 bond. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.